Let's explore a different world, the 1987 TV series that's filled with funny, shocking, and emotional moments. What sets this show apart in the industry? Its timeless qualities make it a symbol of enduring entertainment. Interested? Keep watching for the details. The series provides a peek into the lives of college students at Hillman College. With relatable characters and relevant themes, it quickly became a cultural phenomenon. But what exactly draws viewers back? Tune in to find out. Share your favorite memory or personal experience with this show in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories and memories. Get ready for a journey through the highs and lows of a different world. There's plenty to discover, so stay tuned. One review criticizes a different world, suggesting it was primarily a vehicle for Lisa Bonet until her departure, thereafter struggling to maintain its identity. Despite commendable performances from actors like Kadeem Hardison, the reviewer finds the overall quality lacking, attributing its existence to the momentum of Bill Cosby's influence. They express disappointment in the portrayal of college life and the preaky tone of the show, deeming it a somewhat depressing viewing experience typically relegated to late-night slots. In contrast, another reviewer expresses deep affection for the show, citing nostalgic attachments to specific episodes like Whitley and Dwayne's Wedding. They express a desire to access the show through cable providers, emphasizing its significance in portraying college life as attainable and inspirational, particularly for African-American viewers. Both reviews offer differing perspectives on the impact and quality of a different world, reflecting its varied reception among audiences. The athletic teams of a different world were represented by the Falcons. Felicia Rushad, who starred in A Different World, had a daughter named Condola with Ahmad Rushad just three days before their first wedding anniversary. Condola was named after her paternal grandmother, Condola Moore. In 1962, Diane Carroll and Anna Maria Alberghetti both won the Tony Award for Lead Actress in a Musical. Diane won for No Strings, and Anna Maria won for Carnival. This was the fourth tie in Tony history. In its sixth season, NBC planned to shake things up by relocating the main characters Whitley, Dwayne, Freddie, and Ron to a new setting. However, Jasmine Guy, who portrayed Whitley, opted out of continuing her role, leading to the series' cancellation. Despite this, Jasmine Guy received a nomination for Best Actress in a Play at the 2004 Outer Critics Circle Awards for her performance in A Raisin in the Sun on Broadway. The character Dwayne Wayne gained significant popularity in the Netherlands, where his trademark glasses became a sought-after fashion item in the 1990s. Many Dutch people instantly recognized the reference to Dwayne Wayne glasses. Whitley, played by Jasmine Guy, wasn't just a character on the famous TV show. She was inspired by Jasmine's memories of her fifth-grade teacher, Miss Pinkford. Jasmine talked about this on a show called Intimate Portrait. Jasmine's connection with Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Inc., also influenced Whitley's character. She became an honorary member of the sorority, which made her portrayal more authentic. Jasmine wasn't only an actress, she also directed. In 2014, she won an award for Best Director for a play called Joe Turner's Come and Gone in Los Angeles. This showed she was talented both on and off screen. Jasmine Guy's work in entertainment, acting, and directing is celebrated. Whitley isn't just a character, she's a part of Jasmine's artistic journey. This story, filled with personal experiences and professional achievements, shows how Jasmine Guy's work impacted a different world and beyond. Initially, Whitley was planned for just the pilot of the show, but gained immense popularity, leading Jasmine Guy to become its star. Several characters like Millie, Maggie Lawton, Jaylisa Vincent Taylor, Letta Shaletti Bostick, Ernest Bennett, and Terrence Taylor disappeared from the series without explanation. Felicia Rashad made history by being the first African-American actress to win the Best Actress Tony Award for her role in A Raisin in the Sun in 2004. This was a revival of Lorraine Hansberry's play. Virginia Capers also won the Best Actress Tony Award in 1973 for her portrayal in the musical adaptation of the same play titled Raisin. Felicia Rashad, recognized for her role in A Different World, clinched the 2004 Drama Desk Award for Best Actress in a Play. Her victory resulted from a tie with Viola Davis, acknowledged for intimate apparel. Rushad's accolades stemmed from her performance in A Raisin in the Sun. Seven star productions, led by Richard Brooks and Herbert Ross, aimed to adapt the Tony Award-winning play No Strings into a film. Nancy Kwan was set to take the lead role instead of Diane Carroll. 
Ray Stark, a potential producer, assured that the film wouldn't delve into race issues, emphasizing it as light, happy entertainment. However, facing objections from the NAACP and other groups, the project was shelved. In response to inquiries, Seven Star Productions mentioned their sympathy for the challenges faced by Negro performers in a 1962 Jet Magazine article. Claudette Wells was initially considered for the role of Whitley in A Different World. However, NBC executives favored Jasmine Guy, who eventually won the role after auditioning against Wells. The series, known for its portrayal of college life and social issues, featured Jasmine Guy as Whitley. In summary, Felicia Rashad's accolade, Seven Star Productions' failed film project, and the casting decision for Whitley in A Different World shed light on significant aspects of the show's history. A Different World, a TV series that aired in 1987, is set in Hillman, Virginia, although the city is never explicitly mentioned. The show's actors, including Roger E. Mosley and Marlon Gibbs, participated in Mufundi's drama workshop in Los Angeles, California. Initially, the series focused on the relationship between roommates Denise Huxtable and Maggie Lawton, who were a white-black roommate couple. However, this premise changed in the second season when both actresses left the show. Subsequently, the central conflict shifted to the dynamic between characters Dwayne Wayne and Whitley Gilbert. A Different World offers insight into college life and explores various themes such as friendship, love, and personal growth. Its storyline evolves around the experiences of its diverse cast of characters, making it a relatable and engaging watch. Felicia Rashad, known for her role as Claire Huxtable on The Cosby Show, has three stepchildren from her marriage to Ahmad Rashad daughter Keva, daughter Maisha, and son Ahmad Jr. Glenn Terman, who starred in the 1975 blaxploitation movie Cooley High, also starred on the show. Dawn Lewis, who played Jalisa, was one of the songwriters of the show's theme. In 1987, an amazing TV series appeared, showing us the lives of its lively characters. Then in 2009, this much-loved show got a surprising honor Carnegie Mellon University gave it a doctorate in fine arts. This showed how much it had affected both entertainment and culture. There are cool stories from behind the scenes too. For example, when Daryl M. Bell suggested calling his character Ron Juan to match Dwayne Wayne's name, there was some discussion before they settled on Ron Johnson, which the producers decided on. It's these little stories from behind the scenes that make the show's history more interesting. And talking about history, Felicia Rushad, who was a big part of the series, did something unexpected. She made the introduction video for the dinosaur ride at Walt Disney World's Animal Kingdom theme park. It's interesting how the worlds of entertainment and theme parks came together like that. These stories remind us of the rich history of TV, showing how a show could really leave a lasting impression.